everybody from sunny Florida. I'm coming to you live from mom's Mini Cooper convertible. Say hi mom. Hi mom. Very literal. <laughs> I like it. Okay, so we are having a girls day today, heading out on the town, got a little bit of work done this morning and now we're gonna have some fun. So we're gonna head to downtown Sarasota today to check out some fun local finds. Um, I actually didn't realize that Ringling Brothers Circus uh, had some heritage in the Sarasota area. So actually back in 1927, uh, Ringling Brothers made their winter headquarters in Sarasota and it's kind of just left a cultural impression. So we're gonna check out some of the stuff surrounding Ringling Brothers today. No, I got it, I got it. I can sit. That's great. Hello again. So we just finished up our lunch over at O'Shucks, which was a seafood oyster bar kind of place. So and now we're having some ice cream dessert from Tyler's Ice Cream, which is pretty much right next door. So close that O'Shucks even had an ad on the back that said, go get some ice cream. And we said, okay, we'll do it. Why not? Let's do it. So anyway, um, our lunch was really good. We started with an appetizer of Oysters Rockefeller. Um, they weren't necessarily the best Oysters Rockefeller that we've had. It just seemed like something was missing a little bit. So. Um, but we did end up having an entree of the fried oysters for lunch, and that pretty much covered it for us. That hit the spot, so. Although mom says she's got more, more oysters for me to try at a different restaurant. So it's just a seafood life for me, but hey, I'm not mad about it. We don't get this kind of seafood back in Indiana, so. Um, anyway, now we're enjoying some delicious ice cream. What flavor did you get, mom? Almond Joy in a dark chocolate cone. Did I interrupt your bite? Yes. Please proceed. I, it's melting. <laughs> it's melting. And I must eat it now. Well, and then in the theme of candy, I guess we both got candy flavors because this is chocolate Reese's. So I was gonna get a cone, but it was already pretty melty in the case. So we decided to go with a bowl. It's a huge tent. Oh my gosh, look at how big the main tent is. In this video that we watched, they said that it was larger than a football field. So that's kind of wild. And it would go up in about two hours, so. Some quick work right there. So this little display is interesting with all of the sideshow acts. You've got sponge cartoonist, a lady sword swallower, world's tallest man and his wife. That seems special. <laughs> um, what else is over here? Magician, human pincushion. Hmm, that seems dangerous. Thinnest man on earth, also not very healthy. And on the other end of the spectrum, baby Irene over here was 629, 625 pounds of feminine charm. Ow, ow. See, I think the circus is really cool and all, and I understand what this sign says here about this being the first opportunity for people to see animals from all over the world, because obviously people couldn't travel back in the early 20th century like we could. But my problem with it is the animals in the cages. I mean, they've got rhinos and giraffes and, you know, tigers and polar bears and they're all these wild animals and it's just like they're not in their natural habitat. It just feels wrong. And so I, and I always wonder about like, you know, the quality treatment of animals and things like that. So this is where I'm just kind of like, hmm, circus seems cool, but how ethical is it, you know? Wow, there is a lot going on in here. See, like how about these animals? All standing in a pyramid together. How are they not fighting each other? Are they actually happy? Hmm. 
I'm just gonna choose to believe that they were extremely well fed and cuddled every night, just like a good animal likes to be, right? Am I right? And every circus tent had their own private plasma screen TV, wouldn't you know? Very common in the early 20th century, for sure. Yeah, I think I'd pass on this job. Kind of afraid of heights. Well, they may have been mistreated, but at least they were well dressed. So here we have a bandwagon that was built back in 1878 for the Feeling Brothers Company in New York City. It says it weighed a whole lot. Hey mom, how much or how many horses do you think it took to pull this specific bandwagon? 20. 40. Yes, it weighed over eight tons. Jeez. It's That's pr pretty intense. That is is it intense? Like yeah. circuses? <laughs> and now, the amazing Becky about to walk the tightrope that is two inches off the ground. Ooh. And I probably fall to my death. It's going to take me a while. Doing good. All those gymnastics classes are paying off. Right? Honest, honestly, I don't think I could do this. I guess I missed my calling. Apparently. <laughs> Don't mess up, you're almost there. <laughs> Hooray! All right, we're gonna see if I can get into this clown car. I asked mom if she wanted to do it, but she thought it'd be more impressive if I tried it, so let's see. Oh, this is bad. <laughs> Here's a much bigger model of some of the posters for uh, the attractions at the circus. So I'm gonna see if we can discern what all of them are. So it looks like right here we've got a man with a third leg. Yeah, yeah. Seems right. So oh. cool. What is this? I have no idea what this is supposed to be. A man with a giant tumor on his head. Hair. Is it hair? Yeah, they all have like white hair. I don't know. People that are to That's it? That yes. Okay. They have red eyes, white skin, white hair. They seem like the people, there's some creatures in Star Wars. I'll have to ask Craig what they are later. Anyway. Those, those are those people from Star Wars. We have the bearded lady next. Oh yeah, that's definitely the bearded lady. And then... Tallest small man. Tallest and smallest man, yeah, I guess that's what that is. It's so hard to tell from this photo. Chicken dude <laughs> says, I am chicken man. I guess so. <gasps> Martians? Really? Like, come on. Yeah, that, that's, that's, uh... What is this supposed to be? An aristocrat? I have no idea. Looks like it. Seems like an interesting. A widow? Widower? I'm not sure what this is. These are the little puppet-like people, like the marionettes, uh, right? Like, maybe. Like yeah. the French-style puppets. Yeah. Kind of interesting. I think this is supposed to be like the world's fattest lady or something yeah. like that. There was one in the model upstairs that it was like, she weighed 625 pounds or something like that. Baby something, I can't remember her name. Editing Jordan will find it. And then it looks like Siamese twins. I would say so. That looks painful. It does. Hmm. All right, so we're still hanging out over at the Ringling Museum, and here's what we've learned so far. Uh, the circus was much larger than I thought it was. It, it's not just one big tent, it's like a ton of tents, and lots of animals weighing all kinds of crazy weights, and um, it could hold like 
15,000 people in the main circus tent. So that's number one, huge. Um, number two, it looks like you kind of had to be in the family probably to get into the circus business. There is a Ringling Brothers Clown School, however, we did learn about. So you could always, you know, go the clown route. But other than that, it just seems like everything was passed down from generation to generation. So speaking of that, um, this whole complex was built by John Ringling, who was a descendant of one of the main Ringling people. Um, but they basically created this whole art museum that's here, and they actually built a house called uh, the Katazan, which which means um, House of John. That's what they said, right? House of John um, in Venetian, which is uh, the area where they were from. So we're actually standing um, by this mansion that they built. So. Um, John and his wife Mabel built this they didn't have kids and I I guess that's what you do when you don't have kids and you don't have to pay a dowry or pay for weddings or college college yeah you build a giant mansion so so that's pretty cool um, unfortunately we don't have admission into the house so we can only admire it from afar but uh, it's so cool that they've just like preserved it you know mm hmm so yeah it looks really new it, it really does, it, it looks fresh. And then they had this huge art collection, so they made the, um, the State of Florida Art Museum here. So that's what the big art museum is, their big collection that they got throughout their whole lives. Um, and then they added in the the circus museum that we were checking out earlier today. So and apparently the art museum is free on Mondays. Yeah, so we're not going because we don't have time. <laughs> Unfortunately, we ran out of time. Everything's closing now. So we were thinking, what did we think we were going to spend here? Like 45 minutes, something <laughs> like that. And now we're like, oh, we need more time. Yeah, so we're so, out of time. So you got the palm trees that line the drive. And then it's just this big old mansion with, you've got a pool in the front yard. And then you've got all of this lawn space. I mean, 66 acres. 66 acres. Yeah, it's a pretty sizable amount of property so and then it's right on the coast so you pretty much get the best views in town um that's i think that's just so nice it, it's great that you know they built something so special and then he dedicated it all to the state of florida which is why we get to enjoy it today so here's a back view of the house mansion sorry it's more it's definitely a mansion you've got steps that literally lead you straight to the water I mean, does it just, it just doesn't get any better than this. This is kind of like the fanciest boat dock I've ever seen. Alright guys, well we have switched gears a little bit now, gears towards gears now. So we are here at Big Top Brewing Company in Sarasota, so we are finishing out our circus day with a circus themed brewery. So we are just having um, some good quality IPAs over here. I think this is the end of our adventures for the day, so thanks for following along. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, and if you want to come say hi to me on social media, you can find me at The Travel Buffet. So thanks again for watching, and see you later.